Blueberries look nice, and they go great on your oatmeal, but researchers at Harvard University back in 2015 brought in more than 100,000 people, and they looked at foods that people were eating as the years went by. Certain foods, if they increased their consumption of them, were associated with weight loss. So that was pretty cool, and the very first one was blueberries and strawberries and raspberries and blackberries, the whole berry group, even if it was in a blueberry muffin, depending on what else goes in the muffin. Number two was cruciferous vegetables, and you know this group. That's broccoli and it's cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and all of their friends. Number three was green leafy vegetables in general, not just cruciferous, but things like spinach and, and lettuce and all sorts of greens of every kind. And number four was melon, whether it's cantaloupe, melons, watermelons, whatever. Number five was citrus fruits, and that counted whether it was orange juice or grapefruit juice or the intact fruit, whatever. It still was associated with weight loss. Uh, number six, the legume group. Everybody's cheering for beans, and they are terrific for weight loss. And they can be built into burritos and soups and all kinds of things. But, okay, going back to, to berries. That blue anthocyanin color in blueberries is in many, many other foods. It's not just in blueberries, but it's in strawberries in a variant form that's a little reddish colored. Uh, it's in the leaves in the fall when they turn red. Those are all anthocyanins. And researchers in the United Kingdom looked at almost uh, 3,000 twins and looked at their DEXA scan results of their body composition. And what they found is that the twin who consumed the most anthocyanin had 9% less abdominal fat compared to her genetically identical sister. So you take the genes out of it and the foods seem to make a substantial difference. And the foods they were looking at were berries of all kinds, but also things like pears, which have some anthocyanin blush on the outside, grapes as, as, as well. And beyond berries, cinnamon was shown to have weight loss properties too, but for a different reason. The cinnamaldehyde that's in the cinnamon goes down your digestive tract and it attaches to this receptor where once it does, it triggers the release of adrenaline in your blood. So your metabolism ramps up for a little while after the meal. Each of these effects is rather modest, but you add them up and it makes an enormous difference all in all. So the researchers put the cinnamon to the test, as I mentioned, and they found that just having about a teaspoon of cinnamon every day led to quite a substantial weight loss, over seven pounds in a 16 week period. So researchers have said, that's cool, what else? Hey there, vegan family. Thank you so much for watching our video clip. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, tell all your family and friends. We really want to help this channel grow, so that would be amazing. And also, if you really, really liked it and you'd like to purchase the entire video, you can head to the link in our description box below and you can purchase this video or get the collection from the cruise. So thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a beautiful day and also hope we get to see you aboard the ship very soon. Aloha. Whoop, 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 whoop.